why single malt whiskey is so expensive. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. With so many exciting expressions out there for you to try and taste, I'm sure you often find it difficult to avoid those slightly more expensive than planned bottles that somehow find their way back into your home. I know I often give in to temptation and spend a little more than planned. As whiskey prices have slowly risen over time, I wanted to gain a deeper understanding as to why Scotch whiskey is so expensive. Scotch whiskey is expensive due to a wide range of factors, many of which don't affect other alcoholic drinks in the same way. Long-term storage contributes a large percentage of the cost, not only for the time it takes for maturation, but the losses that occur due to evaporation. Bottling, packing, and distribution weigh in heavily. But the overly large percentage of excise tax added on is the real culprit in the sky-high prices we're seeing today. Cost of whiskey maturation and storage. The minimum legal age requirement to label a scotch whiskey is three years. I'm sure you haven't seen many three-year-old scotch whiskeys for sale at your local outlet recently. You will, however, find many NAS or no-age statement whiskeys, and these will almost certainly contain some three-year-old whiskey mixed in with other blends. Well, normally, 10-12 to 12 year old is the minimum most of us would consider buying for general consumption. The standard barrel contains 200 liters of make new spirit when it's completely filled. Spirit and barrel combined will weigh somewhere in the region of 220 to 230 kilograms. If you picture mountains of barrels, or requiring a carefully considered environment for storage, then it becomes clearer on a significant cost involved with storage over 10 to 20 years, or possibly much longer. Temperature control is key to avoid issues with maturation. This means barrels can just be stored anywhere. They need a tightly controlled environment to ensure evaporation is kept to a minimum. Evaporation, the angel's expensive share. The angel's share is a common whiskey term, and chances are, you already know what it means. The interesting part is just how much spirit is lost through evaporation over the years. The share loss from barrels during maturation, reported by major distilleries, ends averaging around 2% per year, which is a significant amount. The 2% is average over time as newly made spirit evaporates at a much higher rate closer to 3.5 or 4% over the first few years, with a slow reduction down to 2% mark as it gets older. The angels will continue to help themselves to their share over time until eventually nothing is left if the whiskey is not removed at some point. Barrel size comes into play, and distilleries have reported that smaller barrels tend to lose more to evaporation than larger barrels. Airflow is important as barrels stacked up high can actually lose more to evaporation due to the ability of air to surround the barrel completely. This is in contrast to storing fewer barrels directly on gravel or similar surfaces in order to preserve more spirit. There is constantly testing and innovation in this area, as the very latest technology is used to try and reduce the evaporation rates with new styles and barrel designs. The downside is the years and years it takes to see if the experiments are successful. If you ever get the chance to take a distillery tour, then you will have almost certainly experienced this. Tours sometimes allow access to warehousing, where there are usually hefty restrictions in place. You'll not be allowed to smoke, use electronics, or take pictures with a phone camera. The air is so heavy with the alcohol vapor it obviously wouldn't take much to cause an explosion. When master distillers are planning their future yields, they need to take all of this into account. As an example, they know the production of a 25-year-old single malt will require distillation of double the amount of spirit they plan to produce. To illustrate this better, I have put together a simple table to demonstrate the effects of the angel's share. The Devil's Cut The Devil's Cut refers to the spirit absorbed by the wooden barrel during maturation. The amount that's lost will usually depend on the porosity of the wood used to construct the barrel. However, most of the absorbed spirit will actually move right through the wood and evaporate, becoming the angel's share. When maturation is complete, there will always be a percentage remaining in the wood long after the barrel itself has been emptied. Although most distilleries will be unable to retrieve the devil's cut and will simply write it off, Jim Beam has found a way to extract the devil's cut by spinning the barrel at high speed whilst filling it with water. I'm not quite sure exactly how it works, but you can buy the Jim Beam Devil Cut Whiskey on Amazon if you want to give it a try. That's all for today, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.